hidden deep in the forest green is a monster that you might never have seen. One that can turn day to night. One that will give you sweetest dream from which you will never wake up. Hello, my fellow hunters! Welcome, welcome, welcome! For today, we talk, well, monsters that you might not even know exist. And this one is a curious case. A case of theft. A case of outrage. A case of loss. And a case of money! No, not that last one. I just thought it'd be exciting to, to, put, a, to put a case of money. <laughs> Anyway, so long, long, long ago in early Monster Hunter history, in the second generation, well, there was of course a slew of games, starting with Monster Hunter 2 and ending with Freedom Unite. Around that time, and just before, well, the year before Freedom Unite, a, a little ditty uh, known as, you know, Monster Hunter Frontier emerged and came out. And it was its early days, its beginnings. I apologize for the world's blurriest trailer for original Frontier, but at this point, it is quite the vintage footage. And, well... This was quite the interesting little development. A big scale Monster Hunter MMO was happening, and that was very exciting for the players of what was still then quite a niche game, growing in popularity, especially in Japan, but obviously completely unheard of at that point for the most part in the East, but generally speaking, this was quite neat. And a lot of original monsters were created to populate Frontier. Some of the original cast, well, is something like Akura Vashimu, something like Espinus itself, the flagship of all of Frontier, and indeed a monster who sleeps in the tree at the center of the very map of which our, well, suspect today calls home. The Great Forest, the Sea of Green. In fact, the Great Forest was one of the founding maps of Frontier, and indeed is a really quite gorgeous map. Like, it's a lot of fun to walk around, and it's one that I am sad to, well, have seen at the end of, at least I would assume so. In any case, then, there were suddenly some curious creations to go alongside the basics, like, you know, Rathalos, and uh, began Frontier did. Well, why do I bring up Frontier, then? Well, in Freedom Unite, two of the new monsters added were, in fact, original Frontier creations. And and, well, those monsters were, number one, Lavisioth. <laughs> and the much more interesting, well, well, okay, I guess that's not fair. Back then, lava swimming fish that could harden it onto himself. I mean, it is a pretty cool idea. I don't completely hate Lavisioth, but I do think the Piscine Wyverns are severely underdeveloped in of themselves. But in any case, Lavisioth and, uh, well, uh, Hypnocatrice. He is, well, quite literally known as the Sleep Bird. He is a colorful, vibrant, personality-filled, quirky, chicken, flailing, low-ish tier monster that can pour forth massive gas bombs of sleepy death and then prance along you while making a sound that is eerily too close to a pig squealing. Seriously, right? Like, it, it does sound very pig-like. In any case, have you seen Hypnocatrice? Have you heard of Hypnocatrice? Did you know he was a main series monster? Are you excited for the Freedom Unite Pro Anew episode where we finally fight him? Oh, well, uh, if indeed you are, please consider hitting that like button. Please consider subscribing for more little quirky looks at Monster Hunter like this. And if you at all like what we do and want us to stay around, please consider supporting us on Patreon down below. Every, every amount helps. You don't have to go crazy, but please 
never feel pressured, just know it means the absolute world and is the reason that we're still making videos. So seriously, thank you. In any case then, Hypnocatrice was an interesting monster, obviously a bird wyvern and fit very much into the lush jungle of the Great Forest. He was exotic and one of the original sleep monsters and I think sleep is probably the most fun status to base a monster around, probably sleep tied with blast. So what's going on here? Why is the title of the video the monster that was stolen from us? When technically speaking it was in Frontier first and it was a Frontier creation. And that is true. It was more a case then that the title should be the monster that was stolen from us after we stole the monster. But that's not quite as catchy and you know it's too many characters. In any case! What happened then is, well, the monster and the team liked those couple designs in Frontier and put them in Freedom Unite. But what they didn't expect was the outcry that would result from this. The outcry being, well, from Frontier players that were annoyed that a few of their limited original creations got immediately ported to the mainline series. Now, whether you agree with that line of reasoning or not, the collective chorus of, uh, well, frustration was loud and it was heard. It was heard at least in the realm of Hypnocatrice, who was, well, pulled from mainline and has since never been returned. Levisioff, however, got a pass for some reason, which I guess really makes you know even how Frontier players feel about Levisioff. Nobody cares. Nobody wants him. Nobody. He's just completely. He's just there, okay? He just kind of exists. But Hypnocatrice, no. Hypnocatrice would be their own. And indeed, Hypnocatrice is quite the place in Frontier. There is five other versions of Hypnocatrice, well, four in a similar species, that have since cropped up through the duration of Frontier. Breeding season Hypnocatrice, which I think is hilarious, uh, they, uh, cool, a little essentially Black Diablosified Hypnocatrice. You've got Silver Hypnocatrice, who is incredibly beautiful, and then of course Zenith, the ridiculous extra mutated kind of mega powerful versions of monsters, Zenith Hypnocatrice, who really has some serious oomph going for him. And that's really kind of neat. So, yeah, essentially then, we have a situation where Hypnocatrice was inaugurated into mainline Monster Hunter and then immediately kicked out when it was kind of, well, not well received by his original hunters in Frontier. It's an interesting case because later down the line in Frontier, they did get monsters like Zenoga and Brachydios and Naga Cougar and, you know, the big popular flagships. And, you know, mainline monster players didn't bat an eyelid twice at that. But I guess times change, right? And back in the original days of second gen monster and Frontier, it was really important to have unique monsters to each series to Frontier to give a reason to play it. Because why would you hop onto a Monster Hunter MMO if you could experience all of its unique monsters in the mainline series? Because at that point in time, they were very, very similar games to each other, with Frontier just starting out and Monster Hunter hitting its stride before going in to underwater in the third generation. But yeah, essentially then, Hypnocatrice. I would love to know what you guys think of this tale, think of this creature. Would you like to see it back? I definitely think it's one of the more interesting and fun by- uh, uh, um, hmm, Yes, words! Bird wyverns of them all. And I, for one, would certainly like to have another crack at it and, well, have very much enjoyed hunting it once more in Freedom Unite. Again, that pro new episode will be fantastic. I cannot wait to show Cod in it, who currently has no idea what it is, what it looks like or what it does. Just you wait. But the bottom line is then, what are your thoughts of it? It's a very calm creature for a lot of part. They're not that aggressive. They're very conservative hunters. They put small monsters to sleep, carry them back to their nest, and let their children eat the body while it still slumbers. Which is actually kind of, kind of really uh, brutal. Now that I, now that I say that out loud, that's kind of a, that's kind of a crushing, goddamn. Wow, all right, yeah. Woo! And an interesting little tidbit for you, it's weird kind of tree stumpy tail is a remnant from a, uh, well, more ancestral version of it back when it wasn't a bird wyvern, it was more a true flying wyvern. So that's kind of cool seeing the path that it took. But yeah, beautiful plumage sleep bird, I am all for that, and I would love to know if you guys are too. So there you go, that is the tale of Hypnocatrice, and I... I will see you oh. Oh, stop, 
sorry. Uh, 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 like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe for more. And uh, I, I will, I will see you next time. Please consider supporting the YouTube channel and Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a uh, uh, good boy. Josh Cotton and Hollow with the videos, dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes, bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice to reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye <laughs>